Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I am going to show you how to use Pandas Inner March and Outer March. So I went ahead and created a data frame to help you understand Inner March and Outer March. Okay, so um, this is basically what the data frames look like. This is LS, RS, MS, OT. And let's begin with inner merge, but let's time this time let's begin without the on function, the on keyword. So basically, how does inner merge work? The way inner merge works is that it looks at the two data frames that you specify, in this case LS and OT. So to look at this OT data frame and look at this LS data frame. And what it will do is it will find a column name that is common between both of them and it will use that to merge them and whatever any column here that matches any column here it will keep it and whatever columns don't match up it will drop it so this will make sense in a little bit so basically the driver column here and driver column here are common is um common columns between both of them and in both of those you have something like okay you have something like other you have something like josh and both of these data frames so that's what it's going to keep but this will make more sense in a little bit just know that inner merge combines the two data frame and finds something that's common between them and drops everything else that's not common between them and you can specify which column to use but pandas merge is really smart. It just um, finds a column that's common between both of the two data frames that you specify and to use that to do the merge. So begin by um, doing the merge without specifying the on keyword. Let's go ahead and execute this. And let's go ahead and execute this. As you can see, this is um, what's left. So Josh, Ada, and OK from um, the two data frames. Everything else was dropped. So this dry was dropped. This no way was dropped because dry and no way is not present in the LS data set. Now let's do this again, but this time let's specify which column that which column pandas should use. And as, and as you see here in a minute, the result is going to be the exact same thing as this. As you can see, the result of this is the same thing as, the, as this. And the only difference is that you specify the on keyword. So basically, what I'm trying to show you is that you do not have to specify the on keyword. Pandas infers it automatically. Now let's do this. But let's do it with outer merge. Basically, um, with outer merge, it will combine the two data frames, and anything that doesn't match uh, will be replaced with NANs. And to make here, it to make more sense once to execute this. As you can see here, Josh, Ada, and OK matches, so they are fine. But then um, Amy from the first data set doesn't match anything on the second data set, so it's replaced with NANs. And OK and 8 from the first from the second data set doesn't match anything from the first data set. So it's just uh, replaced with NAN. And no way from the second data set and drive from second data set was added here. And NAN for the tips because it doesn't match. But salary from the second data set matches these ones. Now, if you try to merge two data frames that are not, that doesn't have anything in, in common, it will throw an error. See key error. It's a check for duplicate driver. So it's checking for duplicates between um, this and this and just no duplicate um, column between this and this 
So if we go back here, even though, um, even though employees and driver have the same information, the same name, um, the column names are not the same. So if you try to merge on two data frames that doesn't have a common column name, it will throw an error. All right. So that's basically the basics of inner merge and outer merge with pandas. If you want to read more about inner and outer merge, just go online to panda evidencend.com slash pandas merge. And I have a detailed blog post on um, the different merge functions you can do with pandas and Python. And if you want to get the notebook, if you want to get access to this notebook, just go online to my free resources page. Go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources and you'll be able to get access um, to this, my free resources. So if you go here to the homepage, missionlearningeducation.com and you go to view bundle under free resources, you get access to this, the different free resources that I have. I have data science cheat sheets, I have job and career resources, and also I have the data science tutorials. So under data science tutorials is where you'll find this Python notebook that I used in this tutorial today. If you like this video, Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.